Continuing our Planetary Habitability series, let's venture into life possibilities on Jupiter and its moons. In the 60s and 70s, Carl Sagan and colleagues pondered life in Jupiter's atmosphere for hypothetical microbes, but Jupiter's harsh radiation and conditions likely prevent life as we know it. However, some of Jupiter's moons could sustain life. Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, intrigues us with its potential subsurface ocean. If hydrothermal vents exist, they could nourish microorganisms. Europa might even support complex life forms using oxygen from cosmic rays hitting its ice. The discovery of vast lakes under Europa's ice in 2011 and clay-like minerals in 2013 hints at its habitability. The upcoming Europa Clipper mission will probe this further, making Europa a prime spot for finding extraterrestrial life. Ganymede, another Jovian moon, may have a magnetic field and layered oceans, including a salty one atop its iron core. In 2015, aurora movements hinted at a massive subsurface ocean, possibly the largest in the solar system. Ganymede's habitability is a topic of speculation. Io, close to Jupiter, experiences intense tidal heating, making it extremely volcanic. Its eruptions create a thin atmosphere, and hydrogen sulfide there could theoretically support life just below the surface. Callisto's suspected subsurface salty ocean, warmed by tidal forces, might favor halophiles, salt-loving organisms. While Callisto's conditions for life seem less promising than Europa's, it remains an intriguing candidate for hosting microbial life. As we explore these celestial bodies, the prospect of discovering life beyond Earth grows, making the study of planetary habitability more exciting than ever, and we're here for it. In addition to these videos, we've designed a detailed poster showcasing celestial bodies in our solar system where the possibility of life, past or present, has been considered. The poster is available to explore and download at bit.ly slash solar habitability.